All right, guys. Today on this video, I'm going to show you guys how I rolled the fenders on my hard body, as you see right in front of you. So for this uh, technique, you would need the following items. You need a, a piece of scrap plastic, preferably the same material as your hard body to practice on. You would need some kind of masking tape or tape. And two torpedo levels. A glass jar, preferably the same size as what shape you're making on your uh, wheel wells, or you can use like a, uh, or I'm sorry, the same size as your tire. I like to use slightly a little bit bigger to make sure it fits in there properly. And lastly, a heat gun. Alright, so this is what you do with the torpedo level. I don't know if you can see it. Strap it on the side of the car and then on the top. So pretty much when you put it on here, you should be able to see as you heat it up where the level's doing so you can massage it that way while you heat it up. So you pretty much, when you do this, Make sure they have the heat gun aimed down to it. Aim down to it. And as you do this, do not apply too much pressure on the body. Just you let the body's weight sit on top of this glass and just let it do its thing. And when you heat it up at the right temperature, make sure to keep an eye on the level to tell you where it's at. And after it goes correctly, you'll start seeing it taking shape. And you just caress it just like that. I'm sorry, you just work it just like that. But before you do all that, actually, the scrap piece that you got earlier, what you do is, like I said, you find, you gotta figure out the setting on your uh, heat gun to figure out what is setting. Does this plastic start to get really soft? So what you do is you just keep working it, working it. And then, like I said, on this particular heat gun that I got from Harbor Freight, you just got to figure out a setting. My setting on this one was at 5, which is roughly about 650, I believe. Uh, but like I said, you just put aim it out there. Aim at, don't aim at the whole thing, but aim at the part that you're trying to roll or fold or make the plastic shape you want. And you just, about 2, 3 inches, about, about 2 inches away from the part and just work it and work it and work it. And like I said, after a while, you'll start smelling the plastic burning. That means you got it just right, and it's going to be nice and soft. And what you do is get nice and soft, do the shape you want. And then before, don't let the, the plastic touch anything else. Let it cool off so it can take shape of what you just did. If you forget and you drop it somewhere, it's going to form to a different shape, and it'll be really, really difficult. But that's pretty much it on how to roll fenders. And obviously I already did mine. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what you think and how my fenders look. This is how pretty much how I rolled mine. That's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know.